Hi there. In this short video, we're going to take a look at an interestingly named concept called short termism. Now, why short termism? Well, actually, it's often used as a fairly critical term to describe a business or sometimes the management team of a business who appear to prioritize the short term rather than the long term performance of the business. That's what short termism refers to, prioritizing the short term the next six months, 12 months, 18 months, rather than the long term performance of the business. Now, what this uh, reflects is a preoccupation with things like the share price, wanting the share price of the business to rise over the next uh, few weeks and months or over the course of the next six to 12 months and being preoccupied with whatever you need to do to get that share price rising. It could also be where you're emphasizing performance measures such as revenue, the top line, or the gross and operating profit of the business in a particular quarter or half year or year. Uh, and of course, related targets that can often be uh, the focus of a short term management perspective include things like unit costs, the level of productivity. Now, those are all fine as objectives. And of course, it's important for business to try to maximize the performance of measures such as the share price and profitability and revenue growth. Of course it is, but not necessarily at the expense of more longer term performance issues, which might have a more significant effect on shareholders value in the business. So the danger of short termism being too preoccupied with short term measures is that there's a danger that you miss out or you take your eye off some more important measures. For example, such as quality, ensuring that in the long term, the business meets its quality targets, both in terms of the needs and the expectations of the target customer group. Making sure that the business invests sufficiently in long term innovation to secure that flow of new product ideas. Making sure the business performs well on long term brand reputation. And of course, a great proxy for performance in the long term is the overall market share of the business measured over a number of years. Of course, there are also some other uh, less financially focused performance measures, which are equally important. The ability of the business to retain and keep a highly trained workforce and to ensure that they're productive as well as empowered and motivated. The overall business's responsibility to society beyond the narrow shareholder group and whether the business has a long term plan for sustainability. Those are all long term measures. And it's sometimes argued that short termism makes those seem less significant. Why might businesses be concerned, therefore, with short term performance? What is it that might lead a management team to be to, to be criticised as being short termist? Well, one, of course, is and a very common one is there's a view that if you if your business's shares are listed on a stock market, then day by day, the perspective and the attention of the market is on that share price. Share prices are moving around second by second. But of course, every day the share price is quoted in the media, the change each day. And that's bound to encourage you to focus day by day on the share price. But of course, there can be other reasons why short term performance, such as profit or revenue growth, is important. For example, if the management team have significant bonuses that are measured or paid based around those short term performance measures. Or if there's fairly frequent changes in the top level leadership and management of the business, for example, through a takeover, that often leads to a lot of short term changes in strategic direction and decision making. Are there some indicators of short termism other than just the media critics saying that this business is short termist? Well, uh, the ones to look out for are bonuses, as we've mentioned, based on short term objectives. If the business appears to be investing pretty low levels of investment in research and development and innovation, that might be an indicator of short termism. If the business is paying out relatively high levels of dividend rather than retaining profits in the business for the long term, that might be another indicator. And it's often said that businesses that try to grow by making too many takeovers rather than relying on getting the basics of their core business right and growing internally, that's another indicator of trying to grow short term performance. Not all businesses, of course, can be accused of being short termist. And perhaps one of the best examples of a business that very much goes against the idea 
is Unilever, and in particular its CEO, a guy called Paul Polman. Polman took over as the CEO six or seven years ago, and one of the first thing it did, one of the first actions he took as CEO, was to stop reporting to the market and to analysts on the business's quarterly performance. And he, he made it clear the reason was he wanted to avoid short-termism. He wanted to encourage investors in Unilever to invest for the long term. That's therefore being a short introduction to this concept called short-termism.